Once upon a time, when miracles still happened, there was a magic spell which opened the gateway to the enchanted world of Simsala. The place where all the fairy tale characters really lived. Simsa, Simsala, Simsala Grim. Hence in luck. Jump? What now? We keep going round? Watch and observe, my friend. Uh. And we don't even have to walk. Look, we're moving. Down here, quick. <laughs> Why? So I keep out following a few. That's all. What's my problem? Flower ghosts. The mill is haunted. Help! Wait. We're not ghosts. We're every bit as mortal as you. And we nearly just proved it the hard way. <laughs> Sorry, but you did look like ghosts. <laughs> and we did drop in unannounced. I'm Doc Croc, scholar, f philosopher, virtuoso, etc., etc. <laughs> And I am Yo-Yo, the greatest adventurer since, well, ever. My name is Hans. You, you sound clever. Can you read? Ha! Everybody can read, right? <laughs> Not me. But, but I'm working on it. Will you read this for me? Why, certainly, Hans. <clears throat> My darling son. You're coming to the end of your seven years of apprenticeship to the miller. Seven years at this stuff? I cannot wait for you to come home to me. The most important thing is that you come home healthy and you come happy. Lots of love, Mama. <laughs> yes, happy and healthy. What more can I want? Hello, Master. Hans, you've given me seven years loyal service and you never complained. Now it's time for you to go home. I want you to have this as your pay. Ha, huh, probably a rock. <sighs> oh, thank you, Master. Thank you, thank oh. you. Easy there, Hans. We're sticking with Hans. Like I told you, he's got winner written all over him. Winner, huh? Guess if I could read, I'd see it too. <coughs> and now, Hans, you must go home to your darling mother. Yes, and I hope my new friends will join me on the road. 
What do you say? I say we wouldn't miss it. I don't know, fellas. This thing is so heavy. I think I might just leave it here. <laughs> what? 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 This gold is your reward for seven years of humping sacks of flour around the place. Lift, Hans, lift. Uh, 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 hmm. Might just work. Nice work, Doc. Hans is gonna get that gold home and live happily ever after. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. It didn't hit you, did it? Anything broken? Not, not yet, Hans. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to you, yo, yo. <laughs> Stop it. The important thing is that the gold is undamaged and we can get it home to your mother, right? Stupid, dangerous gold. I'm leaving it right where it is. No way. You have got to believe in yourself and, 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 and other motivational remarks of that type. Now, if I could travel like that, I'd be home with Mama in no time. What a horse! Many have offered to buy goods, sir. It has never been enough. And I have nothing much to offer, unless you count this burden here. Hmm, <gasps> <clears throat> that thing does look quite the burden. Gold, I suppose. Yeah, and it is really heavy. Hans, your gold is worth way more than that horse. Maybe, but it's not worth more than getting home quickly to my mama. This is not a fair deal. Surely a fair deal is where both dealers go away happy. One of them with a horse. <laughs> Remember, when you want to go faster, click your tongue. Not, Not yet! yet. Ah. Click your tongue and say, jump, jump. Got it. Good luck, sir, crawling along with that heavy lump. We'd better watch Hans. He'll end up trading the horse for a pig or something. Good heart, just look at my wealth. I've got a fast horse, my happiness and health. Oh well, a horse is a very useful thing. A man can make a very good living with a horse. You mean like horse racing? No, I mean as a messenger or a delivery person, maybe a hunter. Let's see what you got. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, no, horsey! No! I didn't even go! And I didn't say hook hook! What were you thinking? Me? You put the idea in my head? This is your fault! You can never let things be. At least one of us is trying to improve <laughs> Hans's situation. Done some mighty damage getting to sit there, son. I'm sorry, madam. It may be you're not meant to be a horse, ma'am. It may be. Cows are different, quiet mannered. Can't go too fast for you. Always ready with milk and cheese. Mom, would you be interested in a trade? My horse for your cow? Tell me he's joking. He's joking. Doc, of course he's not joking. This is Hans here. Well... 
My husband might find some use or other for the horse, I suppose. Okay, son. It's a deal. <laughs> Good heart, just look at my wealth A fine milking cow, my happiness and health <sighs> Could be worse, I suppose At least he didn't trade down to a pig oh, Come on, I have to get home to Mama <sighs> oh, Never mind, who's thirsty? How about some milk? Sounds great. Mm. One hat of milk coming up. Should be... Um, nothing there. Let's try... Mm. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hans! Are you okay? Oh, well. No milk. But at least she's strong. <laughs> and look, no need to be thirsty anymore. Oh. Hmm. Huh? I say, what an inconveniently located ruminant. Oh, <laughs> oh no, a pig? Tell me I'm dreaming. Sorry, we got in your way, sir. Think nothing of it, sir, for I believe we are well met. Two blue bloods of the world who delight to capitalize in quadrupeds. If you say so. Indubitably, my fortune is of the porcine variety, and yours, the bovine. And a tonic for the eye she is. But we are not introduced. I am Abercrombie Eggers the Fourth. Hello, I'm Hans. A terrible imposition, Hans. But may I ask if you have two tens for a five? Oh. Mm. Sorry, Mr. Eggers. This cow is my only fortune. And a fortune you have. Your friend shall be faithfully furnishing a flow of fresh milk when the financial firms have all founded. Ah, uh, she doesn't have milk. At least she contentedly accompanies you in your perambulations. She doesn't like to follow me, if that's what you mean. <clears throat> Meanwhile, my dormant creature is conveyed inevitably and most efficiently by my monowheeled device. Hmm. Whoa! Ah! Uh, ignore the pig, Hans. What pig? I forgot about the pig already. See how easy it is, Hans? Huh? It's easy to push a barrow compared with dragging a cow around. Hans, a cow for a pig? It's not good economics. Eco-whatics? Excuse me, little whatever you are. The deal is a cow for a pig in a wheelbarrow. I don't want to rush you, Hans, but I have dinner with the mayor in 15 minutes, because that, my friend, is the sort of event that men with pigs in wheelbarrows get invited to. I still say it's... Hans is an intelligent man. Let us not interrupt his consideration. Just look at my wealth, a fine big pig, my happiness and health. 
A wheelbarrow and a pig for a cow. <laughs> and a cow for a horse. A horse for a lump of gold bigger than us. Oh, well, it really can get worse. Good afternoon, young lady. Good afternoon. We're quite close to the edge there, Hans. You might want to... Uh... Oh, Good sir, may I ask how you came by this pig and barrow? Isn't he great? I traded for him with a good man from this very town. But I, I think this was the only one. Sorry. I am sorry, sir. The townspeople are hunting for a man with a stolen pig and a stolen barrow. I hope they don't mistake the pig and barrow I bought for the stolen ones. Don't get us started. It's been a long day. Your good man was the pig thief. <gasps> You've been tricked. I am sorry. A man with a pig went this way. The thief! Let's get him! I'm not a thief. I'll just explain to them. No good hands. I doubt they'll believe you. Do you have a change of clothes in that bundle? Yes, but I don't see how changing my dress will help. Quickly, they're coming! You think that's him? The thief? There's one way to find out. Now, have you got your story straight? Think so. Greetings, good townspeople. We are simple country folk, visiting your fine town. This is my sister. Hello. And uh, this is our darling mother. Well, hello, gentlemen. How charming to meet you. Oh, uh -huh. We are searching for a thief with a stolen pig. Have you seen anyone like that? No. I haven't seen a pig in a wheelbarrow. We said nothing about a wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh. I am so enjoying your town. So many handsome, dashing men. <laughs> <clears throat> Away, naughty goosey. What brave men you both are. Imagine. Pursuing a dangerous pig thief, a lady might faint away in your presence. There, Mother. Now that I think of it, I did see a man with a pig earlier. He was up that lane, heading west. He was in a real hurry. Could be our thief. Let's go. No time to lose. <laughs> what was that? I said oink. That's what you have to listen for if you're looking for a pig. Thank you, madam. We'll keep that in mind. What will I do? I'll never get out of town with this pig. Perhaps we can settle here in town. It's not so bad. Find a nice little house with shutters and a little flower garden for me. Oh! Just trying to help. I've got an idea. I live just down the street and I have a safe little yard. Oh, thank you. But I can't live with you. I have to get home to my mama with my health and happiness. <laughs> I mean, I can raise the pig safely and out of sight. Of course I couldn't take the pig from you without giving something in return. Would you accept my goose as payment for the pig? Are you kidding? At this stage, I wouldn't be surprised if he traded it for a rock. He could have kept the wheelbarrow. I'm tired. You know, you have not stopped complaining for two hours. You know I haven't stopped having something to complain about. Good heart, just look at my wealth. A fine big goose, my happiness and health. 
My mama and I will have a grand feast and enough feathers to make us both deep, soft pillows. Stop talking about pillows. And quickly I grind. My coat blows out in the wind behind. Oh, I sharpen my scissors. And quickly I grind. My coat blows out my in the wind behind. And <laughs> now that is a handsome goose you have, squire. He is fine, but he, he does wander all over the road. How did you come by him? I traded for him with a pig and a barrow. You don't say. And he traded for the pig with a cow. Is that right? And he traded for the cow with a horse. Naturally he did. And he traded for the horse with a nugget of gold the size of your head. And how did you come by such a nugget of gold, squire? It was payment for my seven years' apprenticeship to a miller. No fooling you. You've done very well with each trade. I know. And each trade has made me happier and happier. If you can hear just a little money jingle in your pocket whenever you stand up, you've made your fortune. How will I manage that? I haven't one penny let alone enough coins to hear jingling. Why not be a grinder, like me? No investment is needed but a simple grindstone. Huh? A grindstone, eh? I wonder how I could hope to get such a thing. Hmm. There's always this one. A bit worn, but I wouldn't ask much. Maybe, just perhaps, your goose? Now hold on, Hans. I will not stand by and watch you be swindled one more time. A grindstone for a big, healthy goose? It's not fair. Nuts is what it is. You're right. And so are you. That's why I will include this in the deal. As sturdy a rock as you'll find under the sun. Ideal to straighten nails on. Hmm? Finally, he sees sense. Everything I need happens to me, just as if I were a Sunday child. Sir, you have a deal. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I was tired enough without having to carry this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we heard the story miles back. Good heart, just look at my wealth. A grinding stone, my happiness and health. And look here, a well to wet our throats. Doc, <laughs> you're okay. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> Well, Hans, you've lost everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no gold to weigh me down, no horse to run away, no cow to kick me, no stolen pig to get me in trouble, no goose to wander all over the road, and no stones to drown my friends. Good heart, just look at my wealth. I don't need a thing but my happiness and health. Good heart, just, just look, look at, at our wealth. wealth. We've, We've got, got each, each other, other, our happiness and health. health. Good heart. Mama! <laughs> oh, my darling Hans! Mama, I've come home as you asked, with only my happiness and your health. Well done, my clever, clever boy. So I think we can leave, Hans, mm -hmm. now. Simsa! Simsa.
Simpsala! Simpsala Graham! <laughs> Goodbye, Hans! Goodbye, friends! Thanks for all your help! <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after.